Hey guys, Brysol here, and welcome back to Dragon Quest V. I have, indeed. Janie Mac, give a dog a bone. This old man got a maxi medal. That didn't really rhyme, but it's okay. It's okay. We can live with that. We can live with that, guys. Sweet, I got a building. I am a property owner. So let's see what this place looks like on the inside. What do we got? The sham wah. Wah! Yeah. Okay. No. Ew! Dude! Gross! Alright, I'm gonna make it nighttime, because I, I can't screw with the uh, settings. Even though this literally just opened, and there is actually no one out there who wants to come here and look at this place, because it's a horrifying, empty, empty building in the middle of the friggin' water. But whatever! Let's use the nightlight. How do you make... Well, I guess you can ignite a nightlight. It just sounds odd. Let's head on inside. And we'll see what's going on with the knick knack of deliciousness. Hey, buddy. Yeah? Oh, you're running it in, are you? You're not running the, the desk? Collecting money? What an ass. What a total bag of dicks that guy is. Ooh, a chest. Yeah? Uh-huh. Aw. Hey, old knick knack -atory. Why does a ghost need to sleep? That's my question. It's a good question. So what do we have here? Boasting the world's finest? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you better do that, you jerk faces. So we go down here to the basement. We have got... What's this? Yes, I am. Exotic Annette sounds like a good stripper name. Yes, this is for trading with other people. There's not really... I can... I think you can design your own or something like that. I've never done it because I don't know anyone else who owns this game in real life. And I don't even know if you can even connect to the internet anymore with the, that stuff anyway. Because Nintendo's online support is pretty much garbage. So we're not going to be dealing with that room. No, we got this little room over here. Which is kind of where you put your low level things. Now, let's get ourselves a Pachisi ticket first of all. I mean, this is our place, so we're allowed to steal all the Pachisi tickets. And a mini medal. All right. Those are so, so good. They're awesome. Okay, let's look at one of these Nick and Naka Rukudakadax. See, do we have any on the first page? We have a Wheelbrook Blue Stone, which is an interesting stone. Yeah? Yeah? Uh-huh. Wait, did you say... Oh, it's an item, actually. We can't do anything with it yet. Neat. This is a knick-knack. Let's peep this thing. Yeah? Mm-hmm. So we can't do it by peeping. The only way to see what they're worth and how to place them is uh, by lining them up and putting them on the shelves. Oh, uh, yes. So you just examine, and you can then pick out which one you want to place. And there is a an order you want to follow, because there are certain ones, if you put them on the wrong floor, the game will be all like, no, dog, you don't want to put that there. And I'll be like, yeah, I do. Yes, I'll put the skull of a ledger on there as an example. So, we can examine it. Curiousness, huge. Shock factor, huge. But its level is the important thing. The level... <laughs> the level is what's important. The lower the level, the lower in the building it should go. No, I'm good. I just wanted to do that for you. So what do we got here? Uh, we don't have the one that goes on that table yet. But we do have a good old Zizwiz pillow. Right? Someone's got that on them, or did I actually put that back? Oh, there it is. Zizwiz pillow. Yeah! Let's see what it's got to say. It's a level three. Yeah, beauty two, curiousness that. Yeah. Unusual grapey smell. <laughs> Makes a pretty poor dick now. No, I'm good. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got now. Um, something from our father-in-law should go here. Eh, where is the honey buns? There are the honey buns. Oh yeah, that's something we want on display forever. Our sweet, sticky honey buns. Mm-mm-mm. Full of sweet, sticky jam. Oh, it's decorated with our image. That's really kind of gross that he would actually go through the trouble of setting this up like this. And finally, the last thing we're going to put... Yes, we have four of the worst five already. We are just that good, boys and girls. We picked up all of the stuff we want. This one goes down here as well. Let's see what it says about the <laughs> bittersweet flavored confectionery. Not much to say. It's a level three, huh? That's okay. These three up here can stay in. They can go in any order. They're all level threes. But this is the order I like them in. You got a grape smelling pillow. You've got some sticky 
uh, jam-filled buns and some chocolate. Basically, this is the aisle you want to eat and delete. But enough about such things. Let's go back up into the main floor and start the setup up here. All right, all right. So this arrow tells you the order. You start over here, and you're going to want to place a knick-knack here. What do we have here that we could put in? Um, let's see. Uh, I have some level fours. I know that yet. Yeah, this is a level four, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah. Unusual type of scarecrow for sure. I'm shocked this one doesn't go in the basement, but it's a level four, so it gets to stay up here. No, I'm good. Uh, I think next we'll put in another one. You see, we have a lot of low-level knickknacks. We don't have anything too valuable yet, which makes sense, you know. It's early in the game yet. Early days. You're not really going to be getting all the good stuff. Uh, ship in a bottle. Ship in a bottle. Easy enough to get. Yeah. But too easy to come by. Hence, its level being rather low. Actually, <clears throat> that may not go there. I may have another level 4 now that I think about it. And you're wondering why I know about this? I wrote up an FAQ on knickknacks. I spent a lot of time screwing around with knickknacks. Like... An insane amount of time, in fact, that it probably shouldn't have gone that way. Uh, does anyone have that one on them? I can't remember. Did I actually keep that? Actually, I have it on Gaga. That's the answer. The crude image. Yep, the crude image is, in fact, a knickknack. It's going to knock our luck down. Yeah, see, it's a level four. I knew there was one more. No, I'm good. Now we can place that ship in a bottle. It really is too easy to come by, though, if you think about it. It really, really is. It's kind of sad. Yeah. Aw, oh, yeah. We did it, guys. We did it. All right. Uh, trying to think of what else we have. Well, let's take a look at our items. Do we have any other uh, of these things kicking around? Well, first things first, let's clean these to where they belong. In the total, in my bag. Because we want to have these things there. So I know how many I have, just at a moment's notice. i got to do some selling, too. My God, we are really behind on things. We are huge behinds, um, or I am, one or the other. That is not yet ready to be a uh, thing. We have Toff's tea set. That is a rather tight and tea, tea set. That's what the sham was for one of them anyway. You can shine that up, but that actually can be turned into something else, so I may not put it on display. Blooming Branch is on this floor. I'm going to have to think a little bit on that, but it's about a level 10, 8, somewhere in that range. Marital Oregon... Is another one that one I'm not sure on, and it's also another one that you can improve with another item. So it's probably not going to go on display just yet, unless I want to collect money, because you do get paid money by people who come here to see these things. And we have the maxi metal. Maxi metal's not too great of one, I think, or is it? It's pretty big and made out of gold. It could be good. Could be good. Rum 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 terrorism. All right. Um. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we've got three of the first four, five. Is this word? I'm gonna have to place this to 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 know. The blooming branch goes on this floor, but I can't remember if it's here or if it's the next pet. No, it's the next pedestal. It's the next pedestal where the blooming branch goes. I am pretty sure. The only problem is if you set them up wrong partway through, then you're going to have to go back later and fix them. Where's my blooming branch? There's my blooming branch. Damn right. Mm -mm -mm. See what it says. It's a level 8. Okay. Fairy Leia. Very unusual blossom. Indeed. It's very pretty, but nothing else much about it. So this is a 4. This is a 4. That's a 5. There's another 5. And then a... Two sevens, I think, and then an eight. So I think that's where this goes. All right, all right, good, good. Um, and then the maxi metal. Let's just place it here to see what it says about it, because I'm not sure what level it is. My memory seems to say that it doesn't go on this floor because it's fairly valuable. We can also use it as a shield if anyone could actually carry the damn thing, but they can't. Yeah, it's a level fifteen. Ac yeah, banded. Yeah, it's actually pretty rare. Uh, yeah, we'll take that back. Um, we probably want to go to the next floor, I think, for this one. You might be saying, what's the purpose? Just just to make money, to get it all in order, just to collect it, just a thing to do. There's nothing else much to say to it. Uh, uh, well, uh, 
So, the last floor ends at 9, and this one starts at 10. And then it goes, I think there's two 12s, and then it's either, yeah, there's a 13, and there's no 14. So this is where the maxi metal goes. Looks right in my mind anyway, so we'll go with that. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. All right, let's see if we can shine this thing. I don't, I don't think uh, we can, but you never know. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> oh God. Just to show off what the, the thing looks like, I think we actually do need to place this one to shine up. So let's look. It's a level four as it is. It's seen better days. No, I'm good. So then we will go here. We will shine it up. We'll get out our shine box. And that's how you know when it's successful. Now it's all clean looking. And now it's a level 8. Which is nice. But we can get a much better item. Oh wait. Yes, actually I do want to take that off there. Yes, I do. I definitely want to take that off there. Okay, so I think that's going to do it for now. For our uh, running around here. Uh, let's see. Well, yeah, I think that's it. Um, yeah. Yeah, it looks like that's going to be it. Well, there's the marital organ, like I said. Just to show you what it looks like, we can place it. We will place it just to show you, but I'm telling you, it's not exactly, uh, yeah. So that's the only one we have. Yes, let's see what it says. It plays music. <laughs> Slightly embarrassing. All right, let's get out of here. I'm going to head down to King Dominicus's Dominion after this, and we are going to do some grinding, because we need to get our wife's uh, hit points up, got to get her skill powers up, because, let's face it, she's a little underwhelming as is, and after that, maybe we'll head over to Queen Helumptra's, but we'll do some grinding first, and who knows, maybe we'll even get lucky, like incredibly lucky, and pick up a metal slime, that would be big old fat tits, man, it'd be great! Anyway, join me for the levels. Oh, and also what we're going to... Actually, I guess we should actually run through what's here. There are these guys. King Slimes. Oh, King Slimes. They are recruitable as well as um, Metal Slimes. You can find both in this area. These guys are pretty powerful. You don't you don't want to mess with their Texas too much, but you got to do what you got to do, you know? Little by little, day by day. Killing so dead, and hey, don't you bring him back. That's not... That's no bueno. I'm not on board with that. That is not cool, but 200 experience a piece. As you can see, this area, pretty sizable place to level up. Damn, Sloth, if you could only get some strength. Hey, Crackle. Next spell he learns is Pop. Ha <laughs> ha! Whoa! Hit point gain, ahoy. He must be a low level monster to get stat gains like that. Burning breath, cheese them crackers. Alright, let's uh, actually. Since I am lazy as hell. Where's heal all? There it is. Heal everybody. Make everyone feel good about themselves. Can you do that for me? My god, that takes a while. That also drains the magic, but that's fine. There's an inn right in there, and I'll visit that as I need to. Gonna make lots of money doing this, and we'll be ready to buy equipment. And you can also get bubble slimes here. And for that, I'm definitely gonna uh, equip that old funky junk. Bring on bubble slimes, you big old jerk faces. I may not even need it to get Gaga lined up for that, but eh, you never know. Well, I guess I didn't. Awesome. Who else we got here? Anyone else? Anyone else? Bueller? Bueller? Oh, man. <laughs> Gotta love Sloth. That guy is the best. And here's why this area kicks all of the butt. Alright, I w normally would keep it on for multiple hit chances, but I'm gonna hope for criticals. That's that's my best hope here, honestly. I should get him and it, Sloth an individual weapon as well for critical hit chances. Because that's your best chance of killing these guys and getting lucky. So, yeah. I think you've seen most of what's in the area. I don't think there's anything else much of desires or killerness or anything else. Alright, we have a shot here. We have a shot at a metal... Don't let them... Ah, concern it. Anyway, you'll join me for levels and in, in case I recruit a monster, which, let's face it, not likely to happen. But who knows? Who knows?
Now here's a nice prize you can win. It's fairly rare to get that, but you can get one of those. That's a full revive item use thing. It's great. Let's go quickly look and see if it'll tell me. Uh, well, I'm already on the big book of beasts. How useful is that? Looking for king slime. King slime. There's a heel slime. Uh, metal slime. Uh huh. Uh huh. King slime. King slime. Hello. Hello, Miss Pomahos. I'd like to look at your uh, monster. There, there's a cure slime. There's king slime. What do you got for me, buddy? Yeah, it doesn't tell you the percentage chance of getting it, but hey, now we know we get that. And that Hey, we got a slime. That's pretty cool. We'll let him in the party. Yep. Been wanting to get a slime. Who am I going to send off to the monster monitor? Um, sorry. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, Fandango. You're gone. Cactador, get lost. Because we got a slime, which will add another healer that we can have just on the bench to put off some healing problems. So that's nice to have. Ooh, a treasure chest drop. What does he got? Seed of Agility. That makes total sense, given how fast they are. And we all know the rule is that he doesn't have the, the, the space to have the, the, the particular seed that in question. So let's help him out, because that'll help him totally go before those metal slimes. But hey, we killed one, so that's something. Second fight in a row, we got ourselves another metal slime kill. This is why this area can be very quick for levels up. If you can knock off a metal slime, you know... Every couple fights, you can gain a nice amount of experience for this point in the game. And this is a good way to level people up and get them feeling good about themselves. Now, Deborah makes a good fighter against Metal Slimes because she gets two attacks per turn with her Achilles. She doesn't do much damage, which makes her useless for everyone else, but uh, she is useful for that. So I could be switching her in and out for, say, like Sloth to increase the chances of critical hits that could take them down. But that requires me to put more effort in, and that's not how I roll. Cause you know me, minimal effort, skate on by. Woohoo! Hachi Mama! See if we can get lucky here. There's seven of them to start, so we will have some hanging around. Although I've had decent luck so far with a lot hanging around. Like three out of seven, that's more normal. But like I've had three out of three stick around for three rounds type of stuff. And I just need my dumbass to actually make contact, which, let's face it, you can never count on. You never know when it comes to metal slimes. Oh, they all hung around. See, this is what I'm talking about. That's pretty fortunate. One more hit and he's done. Yeah! We got him. Well, may may maybe... Oh, G took off. That's fine, guys. We killed one. That's all we need. It's like three fish your colon, man. That's all you need. All right, so, uh, Deborah. Gaining very nice stats. That's another nice thing. And oomph. That's a nice spell. That's like a Paxa Punch, but... I just got the Paxa Punch. 
I may have gotten it before, but I just realized how terrible of a pun that is. Roundy! Alright. No metal slime. I mean, chances are we're not gonna. But hey, you never friggin' know, do ya? You never do. Holy shit, are you kidding me? Wow! That's awesome! I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> that's so great! Yep. Who's getting booted? Who's gonna get booted here? I know you're pretty new, Megusa, but I like the hork for the pure hilarity. So, yeah. Nice! We got a King Slime. Let's check that guy out. He could be a lot of fun. He's level 3. He already's 140 hit points. He's decently everything. Wow, he could be... He could be fun. He could be fun. Awesome. Now, you might be wondering how come those slimes didn't die. These are the special slimes I mentioned before. Saying, okay, so they're a little tougher and they can recruit. Big deal, right? Big deal. Well, they can keep recruiting. And eventually they'll get sick and tired of it. Oh, you'll see. You'll see, guys. You don't, you don't understand how much you'll see. As you can see, this seems like a fight that'll just go forever until you're able to just weaken them all enough and then take them out the next round, which is possible. You can do that. But it's, uh, pretty unlikely. <laughs> They've already started the slime numbers over, and this is what they eventually do. They become a king slime. Then they smother your ass like some kind of crazy-ass biddy. It's not nice, guys. It's not nice at all. So yeah, that, that's something I've been waiting to show you. For some reason, I've not been getting that encounter much. And, oh, no level up. We're getting to that point, I guess, where finally all the level up train's gonna lower itself in expectations. Another one. Nice! We got a second leaf. Another good reason to grind here, man. So nice to get those items. For free! seriously grinded on my own copy of the game on the DS for at this point 12 hours and counting and I've not seen one and I get one on here inside of 30 minutes are you freaking kidding me yes god yes a million friggin times yes who am I gonna send off um Horka Lorka Ding Dong gone that's amazing oh my goodness um, wow, let's take a look at this. Strength 56, yeah, yeah. Luck 255, defense 230. Oh, man! 
Only three hit points. <laughs> All right, that is amazing. So I'm going to go fill up at the inn. And uh, is there a place to save here? I don't know. I think there is. Yes. I just want to see what my guys will need for experience up. Plus, I want to see, get a hard save of this. A hard poo, as it were. Um, yeah, let's see. Is there a priest around here somewhere? I don't think there is. Will you save my game for me? Uh, yeah, what did, was it 15 again? Nothing. Nothing at all. All right. Okay, I'm just gonna... Oh, there's, there's stairs here. Might have a chance yet. There's a chest. Well, that's crappy. Huh. Ah. Groor. I am Groor. All right. Um, what are we doing here? One over here? No, no. Okay. Are we ready to move on? I think we're in pretty good shape now. I'm not sure if this guy can level up. He didn't level up once. If it does, maybe he blubba. King blubba slime. And oh my God, his name is Chromio. Oh my God, I didn't even notice that. This is amazing! I am genuinely so happy right now. We did it! We did it, guys! I'm pointing at my foam uh, metal slime over on the shelf. We did it, guys! Amazing. Friggin' amazing. I guess we can finish up today by hiking over to Halilalimanumptra and seeing what the deal is over there. Cause we, we, we hear we heard about this place on a sign, it's gotta be good. Hey merman. You ready to get some? Yeah. Oh yeah, you gonna get moited. In fact I gotta switch Newton out. Now that I think about it. And probably actually even Deborah, cause she does okay damage, but we could do better. Ooh, 420! Yeah, smoke him if you got him. Deborah up to 20. She really does get nice stats. That she is so, so good in that respect. Chromio to level 2. His hit points increased by... Wow, he, they get more hit points? Wow, really? His agility went up. There's a shocker. <laughs> He's just going to be there to absorb damage, really. He has no other purpose. <laughs> Alright, let's go down. I think there's like a little... Yeah, there's a little shack here that we can go check out. A little cottage. Hey, it's a tent, actually. Rough, rough yourself, you little mugga. Um, because I'm the gugga. Uh, there's a well. We all know. Throw the gug down the well. Hey, what? <laughs> You're going in alright. You're going in the well with me. Hey, buddy. Mm-hmm. Oh, you have death. Oh, because there's a guy who wants one of those. Huh. That was me, baby. What a yob. Damn right. The only collection she wants to see is the one in my pants. I apologize profusely. Let's move on. Um, buddy boy, what do you got? Yeah? Okay. Okay, cool. Yeah, I've already been there. No, it's a desert. It's usually not a place people hang out. However, I will take the guy's mini metal, because it is so, so good. And his boxer shorts. Ew! Less said about that, the better. Let's just move on and get out of here. My, oh my, this is just... I have a metal slime. Guys, I, Mr. Sulphur, have a metal slime. Hey, they're orcs. Little piggy piggies. How's it going, piggy piggies? I gotta fix my party. I keep saying I'm gonna, and then I don't. Because... Not sure why exactly. But my guys are definitely powered up now that... It's not much of a concern. Still, we can have a bit of fun with the lineups and stuff. We can uh, screw with things a little. Uh... Let's put the new guys in, along with Sloth for now. Just, even though these guys don't have a whole lot, I just want to see what they look like walking around me. This is amazing. This must be Helena Manumtra. Hey, buddy. Yep. I am. Oh, okay. <laughs> Did he just throw a treasure chest up on the ground? He just puked it up, like... Bawr! Nice. Nice. I think we may leave exploring this place till the morrow. I'm just going to head out here and get these guys in a fight. Actually, something we can do here at nighttime, I think. We may have to talk to somebody first. Yeah, the Desert Rose appears south of this castle. We may have to talk to somebody first. Let's just see what these guys look like in battle. And This seems like a good one to 
Oh, it's their, their specialty ones here. There's gonna be a King Slime. We really do need to equip these guys. And you know what? Both of them probably can use Metal King Swords. That'll be awesome. That'll be really awesome. I mean, if he's already doing 18 damage. That's an okay base damage. You give him Metal King Sword, and our Metal King, or our Metal King, Metal Slime could be amazing. Oh, he's down to one hit point. Oh, is, what? How did he do? Whoa, that's not cool. It's not like the enemy Metal Slimes that just kind of laugh off any attack except for one damage. So, yeah, yeah. Full heal, nice. He wasn't the first one. He wasn't the first one. Alright, let's see. Could you... Let's just peep this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep, they can indeed. Any slime can use those. That's pretty great. Alright, well, I'm gonna go stay at the inn. And that'll be that. Join me next time as we head into this place and check it out. See you guys next... Jeez, some crackers, it's expensive. See you guys next time.